those legs. Be a creative space and Well, today we are starting from scratch and I'm starting all over again today. Look how pretty. Oh, look at the beautiful calla lilies. So pretty. I love these. This nice patio. I'm going to work on boundaries. That is something I used to naturally have and through the decades, I've really, um, I, I've lost any boundaries. That might be what my channel is actually about, how to prioritize your time and your health. have collected on the water. See, it was really helping me to have this goal of the she shed potting shed and I just envisioned myself going out there for you know a half an hour 20 minutes and potting like a meditation and potting geraniums and I was gonna join the geranium society and like start a whole new lease on life I don't know if you can see the fairies flying through the air here um, so I will just continue on. Yes, this is Chumash territory. There is a ruin over that way where I was walking Wilson. That is a face. Parks are yeah. named after like Chumash Park but this is where the Chumash Indians lived. This was one of my favorite locations for my movie Astrid Self-Portrait. was a very trickling creek in my movie, and now it is still really rushing. Mom, you know, I think what happened with my potting shed, she shed idea was that I put, well, the rain, the storm, and I was put, I put the cart before the horse. I was gonna, I wanted to fix that up, but I need to first rake, yeah, rake the, the ground, get new um, rock or granite put on there. Get the fence First fixed thing now. Drain it. Yeah, and um, yeah, it, it just, I felt so bad because I watch these YouTube videos and people are so productive, and I just, I couldn't even make progress after five videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do they make it look so easy? And I just, I couldn't. I, I blew off um, all the leaves, which I did a whole video about that, and it, it wasn't as cinematic as I was hoping for. It was just like all this 
these leaves like barely blowing on the ground. But here my mom did that too. I brought Wilson back up home because there were other dogs coming down and he's still in training. Some of them were off leash. I think because I lost my footage and I did have kind of a, a panic attack in the middle of the night last night, which I was surprised that I felt that way because I started realizing the last five years I deleted and um, all my beautiful videos from my travels and my dogs and my family and I just was like I'm just gonna be okay with it and um, yeah it might because my phone wouldn't download a video it was full I don't know something in me I just I was hoping it wouldn't delete everything I just wanted to delete the pictures. I tried to put them on my external hard drive with this new device that I just bought the other day. Thing. I think that this is a good example of, of being resilient and just, you just keep moving forward, even, you know, if all your footage gets erased or whatever. Um, yeah, you just, you just keep looking on the sunny side of life. That's, no matter what incredible losses keep coming over and over. You know, this is very symbolic. Just saying that, yeah, we just keep moving forward. And then we have the planned obsolescences, you know, we've all learned about now. So yeah. Isn't yeah, it? It's beautiful. Yellow and purple. Let's see. This was made in Portugal. So cute. It was actually my apron when I was little. And now, Wilson. Yeah. Look, you can even. Oh, you can put stuff in it. How's that? Let me see. Let me see. That's good. Hand embroidered. When Wilson sees another doggy coming, didn't we go like dad? And then he doesn't bark at him. That is so cute. Look at that. I love seeing those cows over there. This video is about um, let's get camera ready. Now, what does that mean? I'm reaching back to when I was camera ready and there are certain things that you have to do and you have to, you know, it's like preparedness meets opportunity. The foliage in spring is highly underrated. <sighs> yeah, that was a quote from one of my favorite movies, Birdcage. So today for this episode, let's get camera ready. It's more than just putting makeup on. I, it's more about getting in the zone. And once you're in the zone and you get your routine down, then I build the momentum and then I can be camera ready. So there's a lot that goes into it actually. There is the tree. That's what I want to photograph today. I was watching the Drew Barrymore show and I really love her show. I love 
watching her interview. She's just so heartfelt. So I thought it was interesting that Pamela Anderson talked with Drew Barrymore about how she went back to that mindset when she was a kid. And so here we go. I hope this inspires you and I hope I can come up with, we'll see. I'm just gonna be in, just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. I have no idea. I got this. This is what I wanted for my birthday. I, this and unicorns when I was like a teenager. She used to be holding fairy dust, but she dropped it at some point. I hope this inspires you to remember something you loved doing when you were a kid or a teenager with creativity and your imagination and just make the time to do it. This was not easy oh, and it was actually a workout. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Christian Dior. It was in, um, it was a display from, I, I don't, from, we have to research this, maybe from the 80s or the 90s. The nostalgia, that's what my channel's about. Well, what I said it was about before and nostalgia, like using that to anchor yourself into those experiences we had where they were good experiences and you can like pull back into that energy. Yeah. segment of today's video. Let's get camera ready. It's important to get centered and it's like before when I was on movie sets or modeling or dancing performance, I needed to take that moment and you get prepared. So yeah, so today's lesson <laughs> is you need to take that time for yourself to get prepared mentally and you you got to figure out what that is for you but I I was leaning towards this idea and then when I saw Pamela Anderson say that she's doing it too to tap into that creativity when you were a kid and that person that you were and it's just, it's like the clean slate kind of thing, starting from scratch. It just, it's a really good exercise, a really good technique 
to do that and it's kind of you know it goes along with acting and performing because you're able to get in these a state of mind and so that is the lesson I hope I've inspired you all to do something if you're watching well you must be watching if you're if you're watching here so yeah okay I like that Here's my good boy. Ready for your walk now? Okay. Now we're gonna go for the Wilson walk. For Pooh Bear walk. The Pooh Bear walk. Braids. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do They take all the pain away Sometimes it works out And sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some And sometimes you won't But we could be Okay, Todd just set a new light show. Thank you, Elon, for giving us some fun. I know, giving us fun. This is fun. like, this is like Kit. Remember from what was that? What was that TV show? Knight Rider. Yeah, this is like Knight Rider. Todd. What should I say? Hello. <laughs> Todd, uh, start that over again. Start what? That light show. I hear the turkeys gobbling. They were up here the other day, but I, I missed them. I'm hearing them over here. Let's see, come on, Wilson. Wilson actually really likes ducks and birds. He's, he thinks, hear that? He thinks they're his friends. So, ow. Okay, we're gonna try to find these, these turkeys, wild turkeys. I'm trying to get a shot of them. But yeah, I'm doing this intermittent fasting the last few days and I just eat one meal a day and I drink a lot of water and it's really agreeing with me. So it's helping me get back into camera ready shape for um, all the things that I have planned. And it's, yeah, it's going great. Once I get, once I get going, I'll share share how it went. <laughs> That gives me my inspiration for today. I thought of the saying, a wild goose chase. Now these aren't a goose, but, but very symbolic to me again. I think it's good to see symbolism, to learn messages 
and get guidance. So, but what is the message? Wilson, what is the message? What's the message? It always comes back to the Wizard of Oz for me. Look, I'm even wearing braids. I think it's like, there's no place like home. And I also thought of the saying, when you are in your own acres of diamonds, like everything was there the whole time. And you're, not you, but people, we all are running around on a wild goose chase, chasing their back. Come on, Wilson, let's go. Let's go look at these beautiful wild turkeys. I'll be heading back up to the magical fairy house to continue renovating the catastrophe that is kind of happening up there. Um, well, I'm going to go check, but I'm going to continue to work on my she shed and my, my potting shed. Come on, Wilson. And my potting shed and just work it. I'm going to work on getting my vision manifested up in that little fairy cottage house. It's going to take a lot of work. A lot of work. I'm a little over I'm a lot overwhelmed, honestly. I actually haven't been sleeping well worrying about how am I going to do all this stuff. I'm not going to be able to do it by myself. I'm going to need to have people come and help hire people to come and help with the landscaping. But that's the hard part actually is, is just, you know, organizing that, like being the project manager of, of this renovation. But I have plans for it, which I will reveal as we continue. This is going to go on for a year or more. Actually, it's probably never going to end because that is what, yeah, that's what creativity is about. Like things just keep evolving and things get, times get tough and then they get better and things turn around and things come together. And it's like when you lose hope, then things can just all of a sudden like get back on track. And um, anyway, that's, so that's what, that's what this channel is going to be about, but it's going to continue with renovating the magical fairy house and more to come on the magical baby piano.